Let's take a short walk along Bowker Creek and think about climate change. The creek runs underneath this intersection, buried in concrete channel, a culvert. Most of the streams, eight kilometers, are culverted. Bowker Creek provided First Nations people with salmon and trout for thousands of years, but no Salmonids have lived in it since maybe the 1950s. These days, it serves mainly as a storm sewer, where we send rainwater that falls on the streets, parking lots, and rooftops throughout Bowker Creek's valley. Hundreds of storm drains help us get rid of the rainwater as quickly as possible. Portions of the creek remain open to daylight, channeled in deep, narrow ditch, an urban stream with urban problems, and climate change is making them worse. In fall and winter, climate change is bringing this valley a lot more rain with more intense rainstorms. In summer, we expect much less rainfall, longer droughts, and more intense heat. Bowker Creek, in its ditch at the edge of this parking lot, already overheats in summer sometimes. It's surrounded by bare, hard surfaces, pavement and rooftops. Classic urban heat island landscape. Cities can magnify summer temperatures. Bare concrete and asphalt make them heat up to create a high pressure dome that repels cool air and dispels clouds. But some parts of the city stay cooler than others. An infrared photo shows much lower temperature in the shade of trees than on exposed pavement. That cool zone of tree shade provides refuge in a hot city. And this was winter rain at the same location in 2021. Tearing away a section of stream bank, stormwater almost overflowed the channel. Widespread flooding is predicted for this part of Bowker Creek's Valley unless the municipalities take action to prevent it. And engineers made that prediction even before science understood how greatly climate change may increase winter rainfall. Fortunately, the municipalities are beginning to act. Oak Bay, Victoria, and Saanich have joined with the regional district in an action plan, the Bowker Creek Blueprint, and we are starting to see a few good changes. Instead of storm drains, for example, we are seeing more rain gardens like this. It collects rainwater from this parking lot's pavement. The water sinks into the ground where it travels more slowly to the stream. Bowker Creek's Valley needs hundreds more rain gardens to help prevent flooding and make the creek flow more evenly and cleaner. They grow trees too. As they mature, the trees will raise a shade canopy over the parking lot for summer cooling. Each tree is a huge air conditioner, lifting up water from the soil to evaporate from its leaves, cooling the air around it. Nearby, we see another part of the Bowker Creek Blueprint action plan being realized. A restoration project has widened the creek by sloping out one side of the ditch. It helps to prevent flooding while creating healthier stream and stream bank. This restored section contained the major storm flow of 2021 very nicely allowing the water to spread out and slow down, preventing erosion. Volunteers develop stream bank vegetation so the creek can meander hidden and shaded. Every year, it looks more like salmon and trout habitat. Diverse trees will mature to shade and cool the paths and stream while capturing tons of CO2 for storage. Just downstream, Volunteers create new wetlands habitat that cleans and cools the water and stores carbon. The municipality 
continues to add native trees and shrubs along the stream, we begin to picture Bowker Creek as a strong response to climate change, managing rainwater in new ways that restore a healthy creek, prevent floods, grow urban forest canopy, and provide neighborhoods with cool, beautiful, natural spaces full of life.